there you go, gang. It's kind of a wet, uh, rainy, muggy morning here along the uh, north coast. Yeah, kind of warm too. Uh, it's what is it, 70 degrees? So it never really got too cool last night. Good old fashioned muggy summer day, huh? Looks like rain for most of the morning anyway. And uh, hey, thanks for stopping by this Saturday. It is July 29th. Woo! Doggies almost through the month of July. Hey, I'm going to share with you today from the Word Among Us the gospel message from the Gospel of John this morning. And many of the Jews had come to Martha and Mary to comfort them about their brother. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went to meet him, but Mary sat at home. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now, I know that whatever you ask of God, God will give it you. Jesus said to her, Your brother will rise. Martha said to him, I know he will rise in the resurrection on the last day. Jesus told her, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, even if he dies, will live. And everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? She said to him, Yes, Lord, I have come to believe that you are the Messiah, the Son of God, the one who is coming into the world. That is our gospel message today, the gospel of, uh, gospel of our God. Hey, you know, uh, remember that part, of the, the other part of Scripture where Martha, she complained about her sister, Mary, not helping out with the chores? <laughs> and this gospel message, there's something different about her, huh? She makes a strong declaration of faith in Jesus in the face of what, her grief. Huh? She trusts in his ability to raise her brother from the dead and profess that Jesus is the Messiah. Wow. How did Martha grow so much? One key element we must uh, uh, have been all uh, the time that Jesus spent with her and her brother and sister, Lazarus and Mary, huh? being in his presence listening to his teaching, even if it came in the form of a mild rebuke, uh, must have helped her tremendously. Huh? And not just her, but her brother and sister as well. You can imagine them praying together and discussing Jesus' teachings, helping each other embrace his word more deeply, right? So if you ever feel weighed down by tensions at home, think about the household of Martha, Mary, and Lazarus, whose feast we celebrate today. You know, things weren't always perfect for them either. That, that's where they found holiness. Imagine, uh, for example, the pressures the sisters must have had, you know, caring for Lazarus as his health declined. Imagine Lazarus having to let them care for him. Huh? Surely they lost their patience from time to time. Yet Jesus had taught them the value of humble service and self-giving love. He also taught them about the deep wellspring of grace available to them. Grace that both strengthened them and changed their lives. So you can imitate Martha, Mary, and Lazarus by welcoming Jesus into your home. Okay? Could be as you learn to pray together, as you choose to see Christ in those you live with, or even as you work through your conflicts with humility and an open heart. <laughs> That's how you can find the holiness and transformation that Martha found. Pray. Come, Lord Jesus. I welcome you into my heart and my home. And do that today, my friends. Know that God loves you, and so do I. <laughs>